Um, I'd like to introduce my family, because I don't think all of you have met them yet. First, my husband, Kenny, who has a video camera. <laughs> and then I'll have my girls come up. So, Kara, this is Kara. Krista, this is Krista. Carrie has the dog over there. <laughs> and that's Kelsey. And where is Kylie? Right there. There's Kylie. <laughs> Kylie likes to talk on the microphone. <laughs> okay. Well, and then I'd like to introduce my wonderful campaign team that has already been hard at work for about six weeks, um, meeting and trying to get campaign things done. Most important, Phil Schulte, who is my campaign manager. Then my treasurer, uh, Mary Anderson. Sal Munoz, who brought our drinks tonight, today. Yeah. Claudia Kuykendall, who provided the chips and the wonderful salsa. I have... What else am I looking for? <laughs> Peggy Burton has been helping as well. Yeah. So, many of you can join. We need more help. <laughs> So I'd like to introduce uh, elected officials that are here today. So I'll start this way. We have Jeff Kingsbury, Olympia City Council, and he is running for a re-election this year. Renda Strube, who's on the Olympia City Council. Former Mayor Mark Fouch is here. Karen Fraser, who spoke. Did I skip anybody? I think. Tom Water. Behind Tom Water, Ed Stanley. Staying warm by the fire, he says, so. <laughs> All right, well I want to start out with a story. Um, I want to ask the kids, when you eat an orange, what part of it do you eat? The inside of the orange or the outside of the orange? The inside! <laughs> you don't like the outside, do you? Because it doesn't yeah. taste very good, right? Well, I grew up hearing stories from my father about how he would eat the peels of oranges because his family was too poor to buy oranges. My dad was a poor farm boy in southeastern Iowa, and his family never owned the land that they farmed. They would move from farm to farm, and his father was a very hard worker, so they didn't get to stay in one place very long. They had to move because the farm was doing well. But my father, his parents never owned a home. So when my dad got old enough, he moved from Iowa to California and started selling real estate. And he sold real estate to low-income families so that they could have home ownership, something that his family never had. My husband and I, in 2005, appeared to Olympia to buy our first home. But after moving in, we realized that there were some problems. It was supposed to be a built green, low-impact development, and we were really excited about that. It would be um, environmentally friendly. But there were problems. Um, the first thing I noticed was that the native plant landscaping wasn't native to the Pacific Northwest. It was, it was uh, native to Nova Scotia, to Japan, and even <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> we also noticed that it seemed like the drainage wasn't working quite right. Soon there started coming about more and more stories about neighbors that were having trouble on their lots too. And I realized that it was the whole neighborhood that had problems. So I formed the Cooper Crest Neighborhood Association in order to get our issues heard. Through the, um, this association became part of the, Cooper, or the Olympia Coalition of Neighborhood Associations. And there I met many other neighborhood associations and I kind of felt like, oh good, I'm going to be able to have these people help me get my issues for my neighborhood taken care of. But I found out that other neighborhoods were having problems too. For example, the South Capitol Neighborhood Association was having trouble with historic preservation uh, standards. Um, others were feeling threatened by antiquated plats. The Chambers Lake Basin Neighborhood Association was having um, concerns about high density development in a flood prone area. So there's a common theme here that my campaign isn't just about my neighborhood, but it's about all the neighborhoods and about all of Olympia. Yeah. And there has been a perception at times by citizens that our voices aren't being heard. And I'd like to help to be a voice for the citizens of Olympia. And so my campaign is for environmental stewardship. 
we look around here just how beautiful it is with the trees and the sound, who wouldn't be in favor of taking care of these natural resources that we've been given in this area? My campaign is for strengthening neighborhoods and giving neighborhoods a voice and helping them to come together and work together to make Olympia a wonderful place. <laughs> My campaign is for consumer protection. I have been going to the Capitol for the past couple years and advocating on my own for better laws for homeowners so people don't have to go through what I've had to go through. Um, lots of citizens are spending a lot of time learning about uh, issues. Well, I did in my neighborhood anyway. I. Uh, when I, when I heard from my neighbors that there were issues, I uh, grabbed the Western Washington Stormwater Manual, <laughs> not your light reading fair, and, I, and my suspicions were confirmed that my neighborhood hadn't been properly developed. So I want to help other people that they don't have to go through so much work that I did to have issues addressed. And my campaign is for efficient and effective government so that we know that our tax dollars are being spent prudently. But as any good campaign, um, it's a work of many and not of just few. And so I need lots of help. And there's some um, easy ways you can do this. One way is to just tell your friends and neighbors about me and about my campaign. Another way would be to give financially so that I can get out um, brochures and flyers and let people know about my campaign. Other ways would be uh, if you're willing to have me come to your home and invite your family and friends over and get to know me and um, I can listen to their concerns as well. So um, thank you so much for coming and putting up with the cold weather, but it's not raining. <laughs> and I want to um, end my speech. with uh well i heard sandra's here there she is <laughs> sandra. so karen stood in for you so oh and karen valenzuela right next to you yes these are both our county commissioners they're not talking about any type of county business right now <laughs> If you don't know, the rule is that if there's only three county commissioners and if two of them are together, they formed a quorum and they're having, they could be an official meeting. And so that's why we're joking about that. So anyway, well with that, I will leave you with a quote from a famous Irish um, poet named James O'Donohue. May dawn find you awake and alert, approaching each new day with dreams, possibilities, and promises. Thank you.